What's up, what's up, what's up everybody? This is Vic from the Online Starting Block. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your web hosting so you can get your website in order, your personal website in order. Now, what, what the, the heck, heck is, is web, web hosting? hosting? I'm going to describe to you exactly what it is with this pin right here and with this board right here, it's upside down. And the link to this is in the description. I'm actually gonna draw it out and I'm explaining to you real quick. By the way, I'm using this program, it's called Mischief Free. I'll send a link in the description. And by the way, if you want to know how to set up your personal website, get the checklist in the description. You will see it. There's a link to the checklist. You can get it for free. And that checklist will help you follow everything that we're doing in this series of how to start a personal or business website from scratch. All right, so I'm gonna skip this. So I'm talking about web server. Let's see if I can draw this right. So web server. Can y'all see that? I'm sure you can. All right, web server, also known as hosted server, or we call it web hosting. <laughs> they call it different names or just hosting. They call it all different names, but they're all the same thing. Web server, hosted server, web hosting, hosting. So what is this? What is all this? So let me quickly explain this to you. As I remove all this, let me actually clear the canvas. All right, so what is this? So it's very simple. The first thing to know is this is you. All right, me or you, boom, boom. Let's say it's a good day. You decide to go on the internet, you want a computer, and then you type in your domain name. So this domain name right here is, what domain name do we have again? I can't remember. A personal study. So a personal study.com. That was the domain name we bought in the previous video of this series. So. You type in a personal study.com. So this right here then accesses the web server. So a server is like a computer. It's just that you don't own a computer and a computer is not at your house 99.9% .9 of the time. So this is your web server. I'm trying, so your web server. So this is your computer and this stores all your website files. So all of your website files are stored in here. And then once it accesses the website files, it will then put the files and show it in your computer or personalstudy.com. It will access the server. The server will show the files and then it will go to your computer and that is what you see. You will see a personalstudy.com. So this works for any website, ESPN, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, whatever website you can think of. All of the files of the website are hosted in a server. The server and a database, by the way. So your database is there. That does hold some files, but just know that there is a web server that is there. The web server has your files, and then that's what gets shown to your computer. And that is how it works. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we are going to actually get the web server. So just like there are many companies that are responsible for your domain name, like GoDaddy or Namecheap, there's also companies that are responsible for getting your web server. So your web server, you're actually not going to get it. You're going to reserve it. You're going to reserve a space in your web server. And since we're doing a, a beginner level website for your business or for your personal self, we're not going to reserve a whole lot. It's like you taking a piece of a pie or a piece of a computer and you're reserving it for yourself. And there are a few companies that do that. One is called Bluehost. One is called HostGator. One is called SiteGround. So there's many companies that are responsible for doing this and we call them web hosting companies or web server companies or hosting companies. These companies host web servers. That's where the word host comes from. So they host web servers and that's how it works. For this video, we're actually going to use Bluehost to be able to reserve a space. So Bluehost owns web servers and we're going to reserve a piece of a web server for Bluehost and that's what's going to have our files for a personalstudy.com. So that is what we're going to do right now. Hopefully that diagram actually made sense. So let's go back to the internet. I said Bluehost was a company where you do web hosting. So let's go to bluehost.com. Now, if I was to do a major website, I would actually use SiteGround. A bigger website or a website that's a marketplace, I actually would use SiteGround because it's a little faster, but Bluehost is the best bang for the buck. 
especially for new websites and also for blogs as well. Bluehost is really, really big on blogs. And by the way, the link to Bluehost is in the description below, so you will see a link to Bluehost. Click that link. When you see that link, you see this page, you will likely see two options like this. So what you wanna do is you want to go to the one on the left, web hosting done right. So you wanna go there. And then it's gonna ask you to choose a plan. So what you want to choose is you wanna make sure that 12 months is selected. There's also 36 months as well, but click 12 months, which is a year. And then go to the left one, the most left one called basic. Just click select right here. And then from here, it's gonna ask you, do you want to register a domain with Bluehost or do you wanna use your own domain name? So if I was to go back to this right here, so we use Namecheap to get the domain name right here, a personalstudy.com. However, hosting companies can also let you register domain names. You can register a domain name with Bluehost. So basically Bluehost can do your domain name and your web server or your hosted server the same thing, all at the same time. The reason why I didn't do that was simply because I like to keep things separate. If something happens to Bluehost, my domain name won't get messed up. If something happens to my domain name, my web server don't, won't get messed up, which is where all my website files are. So I wanted to keep them separate. It gives me more control. You used to always have as much control as possible. All right, so let's go back. And for this situation, we don't want Bluehost to create our domain. We already have a domain that we did with Namecheap, and that domain was, well, yours is gonna be different, but mine was a personalstudy.com. So you wanna click next. All right, and then from here, you're going to register for a Bluehost account. This is where you actually are going to reserve a piece of the servers or computers, really, that Bluehost has, which only stores website files. So you're gonna put your information right here, and then before I put it, you wanna scroll to the bottom, you wanna uncheck the Code Guard Basic and uncheck this, and anything else that's checked, you wanna uncheck that. And then now you see the price is $33. That is a 12 month price for $275 a month. It comes out to be $33. And then after 12 months, you would pay a higher price, or you can do the three year price, which is 36 months, and pay $178.20, but you would pay $178.20 for 36 months. Sometimes if you wanna scroll away, and if you wanna leave the site, a pop-up appears. This is known as an exit intent. Exit, like you're exiting. Exit, exit, I can't say the word. Exit, there we go, exit intent exit intent pop-up Jeez, it took me a long time to say that so that pop-up comes if you want to leave your site and sometimes it may give you like a special deal where instead of you doing like 36 months it may do 24 months but it looks like it's not doing it right now so i guess that special is not active as of this video which is cool so if you think you're going to have your website for a long time just go ahead and do the 36 month plan and just call it a day you can always upgrade later on for this video, I'm gonna do 12 months, and that's that. So $33, that's that, and then from there, I put my payment information, and then we'll go from there. So let me put my information here. I'm gonna put your right address, which is your billing address, and for your email, you want your email address to be your business, or for us, it was the email that I just created, a personal study at gmail.com, but just know that whatever email address you use to sign up, that is going to be your registration email for WordPress. So every time you log into WordPress, which is where you actually update your files, it's going to use this email address. So make sure that your email address you choose wisely. For this situation, I'm gonna use the business email address that I created in the last video. All right, enough talking, let me just fill out this information. All right, so I put all the information there. Obviously, I'm not gonna show you my card information, but it is there. And so once that is done, you want to click on this check mark right here, which means you read and agreed to the auto renewal terms. So basically what that means is that after every year, or I guess every couple of years, Lewis is going to auto renew your account, but you can go into the settings and you can switch that up if you want to. And if you want to cancel your account, you can dial this number and you can cancel within, I believe 30 days and they give you money back. But if you're trying to get a website done, I'm sure you're not gonna do that, but that is how to cancel your account. Boom, boom. All right, hit submit. All right, so you are in the game. If everything worked out perfectly, you're in the game. So the next thing you wanna do is click on create your account. And if you check your email, you will see a receipt. So right here, it says create your new password. 
So your domain name is your domain name. That's actually going to be the username of your Bluehost account. And you want to create a password and retype your password. All right, so once you put your password in, make sure that you check that. Click create account. All right, so it says your account is a process being created. Please wait a few minutos, a few minutes to set your password. And it's gonna work in a little bit. So let's give it a second and then we will be good. Ah, I just realized I did something not too long ago. I actually used the wrong email to create this account. Oh Lord, somebody at this email is about to get my thing. Let me actually email this person and say, uh, an email just came to you, please forward it to me. Thank you. Let me actually email this person. All right, so let me send that to the person and I think we're good. All right, whoops. But anyway, let's go to create account. I think it's good now because a little button is going for a minute. All right, so my account is good and I can log in. So let's see if I could change my email. Now I'm at this page. So what you wanna do is put the password you just created and then go to log in. So now we are in Bluehost. You've just now, if I go back to this page, you just now reserved a little spot in your web server. So Bluehost does have web servers and you just reserve the spot in their web server. It's like you renting out an apartment, a place in an apartment. All right, so this is the beginning of your adventure. Create your website. You wanna click that? All right, when it comes to building your site, how much help do you want? So for here, you're going to say no help needed because I'm gonna help you in this journey. And then what's the main purpose of your site? Um, let's just say portfolio resume, let's click that. And then how would you like to build your WordPress site? You want to go to get started right under limitless, limitless customization. What type of site is it? You can say it's a personal site. You can say whatever you want, or you can click skip the step. And that's what it is. Who are you creating a site for? Myself. This is a little question that they're asking. So tell us a little more about your site. So what do you want to name your site? So this name could change later on. You can write anything that you want right now. I will call this a personal study, which is the name of my domain name, but you can call it whatever you want. What is your site's tagline? You can change this if you want as well. I would say a test website from Vic. All right, and then go to continue. And now it's gonna to try to find some themes for you. And then these are like designs from Bluehost, but we're gonna skip all that because we're gonna get our own. So on the very bottom, go to skip the step. All right, so now it's gonna install WordPress, which is the builder like Wix or Squarespace. It's the builder that's gonna allow you to actually create your website. And with this, you can actually own your material, like with Wix and Squarespace. If anything happens to those sites, your material, it may go down with it. If Wix and Squarespace go down, you're taking your site with you. It's likely not gonna happen, but it could happen. You never know. With WordPress, it's more limitless. You can add a lot of plugins. It's really, really great. The only thing is that it's just, it's, it's a little bit of a learning curve but it's not hard at all. You can make it hard if you want, but if you follow what I'm doing, it won't be hard at all. It actually will be easy. Just as easy as using Wix and Squarespace once you have all the underlinings set up. But anyway, you are here, you are in the Bluehost dashboard. So this is the Bluehost dashboard where we will do some things. For now, what we're gonna do is we are going to log out. So you wanna go on the top right and click your name or your initials and then go to log out. All right, so to go back to this screen, all you gotta do is you wanna just go to bluehost.com. So if you go there and on the top right, you see login, click login, and then you're back at the screen. So make sure that you bookmark the screen as well. So when you bookmark the screen, bookmark this page actually, you can always come back anytime you want. So this is where you log in. Make sure that the hosting login button is selected, not this one, not the webmail login. That's not selected. Make sure the hosting login is selected. And then for your email or your domain name, you probably wanna put your domain name right there, and your password, put your password there. Login, login. So now we are in Bluehost. This is where you can make configurations and changes to your server. So basically this is where you can change up, you know, how your server works and what gets installed in and all that stuff. So one day I'll probably do a video that goes more of a deep dive of Bluehost and how that works and all the functions on the side. 
But for now, what you want to do is you see a weird domain name. Do not worry about that right now. That will change within 24 hours. It actually will change to your actual domain name. But let's see if I can change the email like I was saying. So let's go to profile. All right, so that's me. For email preferences, let me actually uncheck all that. I don't know why it's still checked by default, but I don't want none of that. So let me actually click away and go back. Yeah, it's updated, perfect. And then for my email address, I can update my email right there in the bottom. So let me actually put our personal study 2022 at Gmail. So that's the one part I want to update. Click update the bottom. I could not update the profile this time, of course. Of course you can't, Bluehost. So maybe I'll probably do it in about an hour. Maybe that will do it. If that don't work, and worst comes to worst, you wanna click on this exclamation point and I will send you to a help desk and you would basically go to contact us, go to visit contact page and you can do a chat right now or call that number. So let me do a chat and I'm gonna let them know to update my email address. And this is actually where you can also delete your account, delete your Bluehost account if you want. A personalstudy.com. All right, so topic, building actually. Topic, building questions and account management. It says, I would like to update my accounts email address. It's actually gonna show you this. This is actually how you can reach out to Bluehost customer service. So you wanna reach out to Bluehost customer service if your website's ever down for a long period of time. Bluehost is who you wanna contact. You don't wanna contact Namecheap or WordPress you want to contact your web hosting company, which is Bluehost. You know, waiting time is a few seconds. All right, cool. To get started with this, I just have to scroll down and click on start chat. And then now a pop-up comes, boom. So Muhammad is already there. He's, he's already, he already ready. We get that done. I tell him the email I wanted to go to and we'll go there. So as I am doing that, I'm just gonna say thank you for sticking this far and we're just getting started. I know this is a little bit longer than usual, but remember, nothing good comes easy. I know somebody once told me that. If it was easy, everybody would be able to do it. But believe it or not, everybody can do this. You just gotta know how to do it. And so in the next video, I'm actually gonna show you one little thing you gotta do. And this is actually if you have a domain name with Namecheap or GoDaddy or whoever, there's a step that you have to do in order to connect your domain name to your regular website. Because a lot of people have domain names and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to connect it to the website. So the next video, when it appears right here, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. Stay tuned for that. This is Vic from the Online Starting Block. Much love.